Well, Yeah, this was my camp spot. I didn't have any video of it or pictures, but I hung between these two trees. There was somebody at that flat spot there. <clears throat> this is the Rock Spring, Rock Spring Hut that's down there. Apparently, a little bit further down the hill, that way and to the left, there's a little cabin. I don't know what the deal is, but apparently, people, the guys staying there. <laughs> Barking at everybody and stay the fuck away. So, I don't know if he's a caretaker or, or uh, a rental or I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. Rained again last night. Actually, I set my hammock up a little fucked up. So, water, the rain water. Came down the, uh, you know, off the carabiner and wicked down the rope. So I gotta go this way. Wicked down the rope into onto my hammock, so my back got a little bit damp. It wasn't terrible, but I gotta pay closer attention to that. So, plus it rained pretty fucking hard, so. I didn't put my drip loops on, but I got a way that set up the atlas straps. Rain runs down the atlas strap, across the carabiner, down, down the strap. So, I don't know, for whatever reason, it didn't work right last night. This fucking blue blaze it was long and steep, if I remember right. Anyway, GoPro wouldn't turn on yesterday. Something happened. That happened last time too. I think it gets locked up. But I put it on a charger. Charged it all the way. It seems to be okay now. So that's about it for now. Let's see what today brings. 11 miles. Oh, it's 9:19. I gotta take a picture. Anyway, late start, but that's because I'm only planning 11 miles. So I'm gonna take it slow. I'm not gonna bust my ass. My calves are killing me. But 
Now I'm moving. It work. I'm getting out of breath, so. I left the uh, Rock Spring Hut. Um, I forgot to do a couple little uh, things on my phone before I left, so I noticed I had cell service, so check the weather. Maybe not uh, clear, but I don't think it's going to rain anymore, but obviously it's still pretty gray out. We're in the clouds. So. It's alright. But Rock Spring Hut, it was full. I don't know how many tents were there, but there wasn't. They have uh, the shelter, and then they have a few tent pads. Like a little, little ways away from the shelter. You know, like, kind of laid out like a campground. But they, uh, they were all full. But the woman that, uh, so yesterday when I got to camp, to, I set up and this woman came in. She said, hey, you mind if I set up? I said, yeah, no problem, I don't care. So she offered to let me stay close to her. And luckily there were two trees that I could hang from. It was on an angle. So my gear was kind of sliding. Hard to keep track of. But, but either way, I slept pretty good. Actually, I slept really good slept in. Like I said, I got woken up at 4.30 when my back got wet from that rain. I think it was wet. It got damp. It feels cold, but anyway. So, then I slept till like 6.30. And by the time I got out of camp, it was 9.30. And I stopped and talked to Tanya and the kids about the uh, kid buying a house, so that'll be exciting. Talk to her f for them for a bit, FaceTime. And uh, <clears throat> late start, it's 10 o'clock now. I'm probably I'm less than a mile in. Like, I stopped for, like I said, for a good bit, but 11 miles. My legs are warmed up already. First start now, you kind of hobble until they warm up, blood starts flowing, but I'm feeling good now. My ankle is doing good. My calves on the downs are hurting. But I should have worked my calves more before coming out. Well, whatever, I'll make it. All right. for now. Well, it's been raining. It rained pretty much all day yesterday. It rained early, early this morning, like uh, 3, 4 o'clock. It pretty hard, actually. Enough that, uh, This would be an awesome view. It wasn't so freaking bad. But it's okay. Anyway, I just checked the weather. There's a 20% uh, rain later, like 1 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now. I got a late start. I'm packing up wet. I'm trying to hide under the you know, the tarp while you do it, it kind of sucks. It takes longer. You're not trying, you're trying to not touch the tarp. Because you know it covers you. You know it covers you. Anyway, still wet. Uh, you don't want to touch the inside of the wet. Anyway, so 
not very wet. It's just So, this is a would-be view. Kind of what I expected. That's where I get. Got some green tunnel action here. Sort of. And then I guess you can So we got these, uh, forget what you're calling them now. Those things. They're all over the place down here. We called them gypsy moths and tent caterpillars. Somebody up here. Yeah, they gotta be praying for them next, not next week, the week after. Okay. I imagine that that would be a gorgeous view. Oh, there's a little parking spot right there. Some people probably park there normally, but. Okay. Yeah, these, there's all these cement posts, and that's how they, the Fisher's Gap overlook, that way. It's kind of like 60 yards, so you can go that way for that overlook, but we got, oh, Big Meadows, I'm stopping there. Rock Spring Hut, is just where I came from. But anyways, you got this cement thing, all of the intersections, it's kind of cool. Rather than some shitty wooden sign that, you know, deteriorates and needs to be replaced and assholes with their graffiti. Anyway. That's that. It's pretty cool. Like fern fields. This place would be pretty cool. And like, I don't know, late June, big ass ferns. Alright. I'm gonna put this one up. I got like a mile. And I'll hit Big Meadows Wayside. Grab lunch there. And then from there, probably another six or seven miles. So, something like that. That's the plan. Mm 
Getting better. Still beautiful. Hello ladies. Check my window here. Hi. You're over there too. Hello. It's okay. We're fine. We're friends. <laughs> I decided this is this is where they made the commercial. Come visit Shenandoah National Park and hike the Appalachian Trail. It's so smooth and oops, so smooth and, and everything. It's you know, easy, easy trails. <laughs> Anyway, oops. Anyway, that's that's my thought. <laughs> oh, dirt road. Oh shit. Well, <clears throat> that's it. Well, look who decided to show up. You're late. And at the end of the day, almost. Like another mile and a quarter. Wow. Wow, how the fuck did I not see that? Oops. Pretty cool. 